Hello and welcome to another video for Quick Trade Ninja. Today we'll be reviewing quick actions. A custom quick action or quick action is a tool that you can use to configure order entry and order management um, options. Once configured, a quick action can be triggered via a chart trader button. So over here on the chart trader, or you can configure it to be triggered via a keyboard hotkey. So really quick, let's just jump into an example. Um, I won't cover all the options here because there are a lot and you can view those on our documentation on our website. But you'll go to the indicators menu, find the Quick Trade Ninja folder, and click the Quick Action Indicator. Over here that you'll have multiple templates and there are other videos that will we'll we'll describe what each template does. For example, the Break Even Plus would give you a Break Even um, Stop Loss plus or minus a certain number of ticks. Today we'll stick with the Quick Action, uh, Custom Quick Action to um, show you some of the options. So first off, you need to tell the quick action which order you want to um, adjust or enter. So you have entry, stop, or target order, and these will be applied to the ATM stop and targets. The order action for entry would be buy or sell, and then what type of order is the market stop or limit. Um, <clears throat> for stop orders and limit orders, if we're moving them, we need to know where we're going to move them to. So in order to calculate that, we use a reference price, which has multiple options. Um, for example, we'll, we'll set up a highest. So um, the example we're going to use, we're going to move our stop to a um, reference price of the highest, um, highest or lowest, actually, because depending on whether we're long or short, we want to go above the highest or the lowest um, bar, five bars back. That's what the look back number of bars does. Tells you how far back to, to calculate. And then we're going to do a, we want to do one point above or below. So in order to do that, we're going to use a, a setting of negative four ticks. You'll see that here in a second. Um, and I'm going to change my offset type to profit. This offset type tells the, the quick action whether to add or subtract from the reference price. Y-axis will always add positive values um, and will always subtract negative values. Profit, on the other hand, will, will depend on whether you're long or short. And so we're going to use profit in this scenario. Like I said, you can always go back and read the, uh, the documentation if you have any questions about this. Down here, you can enable this as a button with a certain color and a label. So let's just do this example. And you can also enable a hotkey. So control H, we'll leave it there as a default. Um, all right, let's try this out and see if it works. We have our example button over here. I'm gonna go ahead and enter a long position. And I have to be in a Order an ATM, so I'm going to do a quick ATM position. Order filled. Now, if I click the button, it will move it five bars back, right below, one point below the uh, the low. So that's the lowest. Now, if I'm in a Order short filled. position Order and I click the button, it will sit through the same thing, go five bars back and move it one point above the, the, the highest. So that's um, the quick actions. Um, like I said, there's multiple ways you can do it. Um, I'm going to just demonstrate as well with the control H that we configured as the hotkey. Um, I configured that, click I press control H and it also moved our stop as we had it configured. Order. So that's the, uh, the a quick overview of Quick Trade Ninja quick actions. As always, we strongly recommend you configure and test out um, Quick Trade Ninja in a SIM account to allow you to get comfortable with the features and the functionality, and just to, to verify that it's working as you intend it to um, with your particular trading strategy. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions about Quick Trade Ninja, feel free to reach out to us.